Hey y'all, I'm back with another video for y'all. I'm going to be pulling from the Twin Flame Journey Oracle deck here. So this is going to be a Twin Flame reading. So let's see what's going on. What messages does your Twin Flame have for you? It looks like... It looks like somebody could be in the ego right now. Could be operating from their ego. So let's see what's going on. Alright, let's see. What messages do you have? What messages do you have for the collector? Okay, we got bound and recognition. Some of y'all may have been getting signs and synchronicities. Some of you guys may have been seeing uh, 111, 222, three angel numbers. You could have been seeing certain songs may have been coming on that reminds you of this person. Um, you could be in separation from this person. Um, and this person, you, it's like... This person is bound to you. You feel stuck. Or this person, your twin flame feels stuck. I feel like they're coming to a realization of this connection. They're recognizing what this connection meant to them. All right. So, yeah, we got family here. So, this person is recognizing that they want a family with you. They want to... They want this back. We got recognition. They're realizing what you meant to them. Okay. They may have been operating, like I said, from their ego. Okay. They may have some type of addictions or dealing with something internal. Um, and this person wants to reach out to you. They want to reach out to you. They're coming in with an offer. They're coming in with this offer because they are currently in regret. Okay, they're having some type of regret, some type of guilt. They're feeling some type of way, okay? I feel like, um, like I said, they're recognizing what this union means to them, okay? You may have been in solitude from this person. You may have been not communicating with this person. You and this person could be at a distance at this time. Because it looks like somebody here is focused on their money, okay? Somebody's focusing on their coin, okay? So, yeah, it looks like this person is recognizing what this connection meant to them. What action is this person going to take towards the collector? We got balance in the scales. Big dreams. What else? And we have fifth dimension. This person is wanting to come balance the scales out with you. Okay. They admire something that you do. Something that you could be doing, creating. Um, you got to admire, okay? This person is looking at you and they admire the things that you come up with. They also know that they destroyed this connection, that this connection fell apart because of something, not to completely put this place the blame on them, but they know that this picture that, um, like this, okay? So this, this energy here this family they have destroyed that okay they've destroyed this picture of what could have been a great family you guys had goals together you guys could have um, been something big okay they realized that they destroyed that okay now they want to come in with the balancing of the scales but spirit say in divine timing okay spirit say at the right time you and your twin flame will reconnect okay so what else? Action. Devotion. 
and purge. Yeah. It looks like you and this, you and your twin flame are on a pause. Y'all on a break period right now. Y'all are in separation. I feel like this person is getting ready to take action towards you. Okay. They are going to come back wanting to devote themselves back to this union. Okay. But there's some things that they have to purge from. There's some things that they're still bound to. So they have some things that they're bound to um, in order for this connection to reconcile and come back together. And for things to be back out of balance, they have to let some things go. Okay. They could come in and ask for some type of forgiveness on their end and saying that look they've learned some type of lesson okay so this person they have to purge from something they have to let some things go now per um bound is at the beginning and purge is at the end okay so they know in order to get back to this connection where it's balanced and they get back to this this union with you they know that they have to let some things go so the thing of it is, is are they ready to let these things go, okay? Because they know that they can't come to you um, with all of this baggage, okay? So this is a lesson that they have to learn, okay? But they are going to come in um, asking for some type of forgiveness, okay? But it does look like you and your twin flame, y'all are on a break from each other. This person could have been drinking a lot. This person could have been smoking a lot. They've been doing things to numb themselves. Um, they've been doing they've been doing a lot of numbing. It could be alcohol, drugs, whatever. They've been doing things to keep try to keep their mind off of this connection. But it always comes back to them thinking of you. Okay. So what I want to see what it is that they need to let go of. What is this that I'm actually need to let go of in order to return? What does this masculine need to purge? What does this masculine need to purge? Palm tree. Things that they're comfortable with. Things that they have settled for. What else? We got I like you. So someone that they've been flirting with, someone that they've been dealing with that they like. Someone who they've been dating and sleeping with. Okay, with passion right here. What else? Yep, it's a karmic relationship. They have to let go of a karmic in order to come back and fix this union with you. They've been running from this connection for a while. Um, they have a whole different, they got a whole hand of cards that they know that it's time. In order for them to come back into your energy, they know that the time is running out. We got clock right here, and then we got twin flames. Okay, so they know that at the at it, they feel it like it's time for them to reconnect with their twin flame. Okay, this person wants to reach out to you, but will they? Okay, so these are things that they have to let go of. Something that they're comfortable. They're comfortable with the karmic right now. They're comfortable in a situation with someone that they like. So they left someone that they love for someone that they like. That's what it looks like here. Okay, so this karmic relationship that they're comfortable in, that's the thing that they're going to have to purge from. Okay, and they 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 feel obligated to that situation for some for some reason or another. They feel obligated and bound to that situation. So they're stuck. What action is this uh, masculine going to take? What action, action is this masculine going to take?
what action is this masculine going to take towards their twin flame? They can either decide to stay stuck or do what they need to do and purge. I'm feeling like they realize that something that they're at the end of the road. They feel like that um, they need to recognize their true feelings. This person is afraid to kind of reach out to you. They don't know how you're going to... Um, they don't know how you're going to respond or how to come towards you. But they do want to take some type of action towards you. They feel like it'll be a risk. They'll be taking a risk. So they're uncertain about coming towards you. Okay, this is what's... They're, they're very cautious about their approach to you. They're not sure how to come towards you. Because the last time y'all had a dealing with each other, it was a lot of disappointments. Okay, I see you over here being very happy, like you're shining, you're very positive, you're happy, you're in a very good place. This is the most positive card in the deck, so you're at a very good place, okay? This person doesn't even know how to approach you. They're, they're the ones who, you know, are uncertain on how to approach the situation, This person is watching you. They're keeping an eye on you. They just don't want to have to go back and forth between you and this karmic. So they're uncertain. It's a lot of uncertainty. And they don't want to have any regrets. They feel like they'll be taking a risk if they were to just leap out there and reach out to you. Like I said, this person is moving very cautiously. I also feel like this masculine here had control issues in the past. Like this masculine wanted to control you. They wanted to control the relationship. They wanted to control the finances. They wanted to control everything. Okay. Why is this four of cups here? Yeah. In the past, it was disappointments because I feel like there could have been some distance, especially with that Three of Wands and that Knight of Wands right here and the Knight of Swords here. Okay, so there was a lot of childlike behavior, a lot of back and forth, a lot of inconsistencies. So it was a disappointment dealing with this person previously. This person feels like, um, like you want them to chase. I'm seeing here and that as well, too. Yeah, this person is trying to work up the courage. That like they don't feel as as bold as courageous approaching you. Okay, they don't know if you're going to accept their offer. They feel like you're going to decline their offer. Okay, and they feel like you're going to kind of like put them in queue, put them on hold. Um, and they feel like it could be worked on, but they're scared to come towards you. They they don't have they don't have that. Um, They don't have the courage yet. Like, they, they don't have, they're not fully uh, sure. The karmic that they're dealing with, I feel like they realize that this situation is a, a mess. Maybe they argue often. Maybe they feel like they have to compete. Like, this karmic could be in competition with you. And like I said, I see you over here being just as happy-go-lucky as can be. Straightforward. Like you're you're in your no nonsense energy right now. It's like you're you're focused on yourself and your happiness. I feel I see you just standing up for yourself. So that's a good thing. Yep, we got the wheel of fortune and the chariot and the six of wands. This person, they are deciding to come towards you. Okay, they want your attention.
they don't know any other way but to kind of like stir the pot like i'm getting like this person likes to start confusion and then wait for you to come towards them and question them about stuff so they need to find a different approach because this approach that they've been pulling is not working. It's actually making the situation worse. Now we got the Six of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords. I see y'all not, are not in communication. Someone is not responding or not, um, I'm hearing not getting anywhere not getting anywhere or someone is not reciprocating that energy somebody's not responding this person knows that you want to talk about the past and this person also wants to know have you moved on have you moved on from them have you moved on oh, here and keep it real? Have you moved on from me? I'm definitely hearing that. This person could ask for a friendship with you. Friends with benefits, I'm hearing. This could be a, a Libra. I'm getting um, King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I'm getting King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. It could be any sign for that matter. This person is lost without you. Okay, we got the Lovers, Temperance, Knight of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, King of Wands, Knight of Swords, and the Hermit. Honestly and truthfully, this person feels lost without you. I feel like you give this person some type of balance. You give this person some type of peace. This is what they love about you. But at the same time, I feel like this relationship was very immature. Okay, because we got the Knight of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. This connection could have started when you were younger. Like, this was something that you could have dealt with, you know, for been dealing with for forever the knight of pentacles is very young energy but the thing that i do like about the knight of pentacles is that he moves kind of slow he is the slowest moving knight in the tarot but he comes with a solid offer and he doesn't just jump into anything quickly he likes to take his time but i feel like this person feels lost without you king of wands could be a fire sign nine of swords and a hermit this person feels lost without you Okay, they're hoping that you will respond back to them, communicate with them, talk to them. Yeah, this person say, look, you was the best, you was the finest thing that they had. You was the best thing they had. This person say they put in a lot of effort. Both of you feel okay. like y'all put in a lot of effort. Okay, but if somebody made the decision to walk away still. Okay, and I feel like it happened out of the blue. Like, it was something that, that you know, happened randomly. Spirit had to step in and, um, and do what it needed to do. This person definitely feels like they'll be taking a, a huge risk they feel like it's going to start confusion yep they feel like it's going to start confusion and i feel like this person feels extremely wary that this is it we got the moon we got the world we got the eight of cups they feel like this is it like could this really be it is this really over is this really are we really done Okay, are we really done is what I'm hearing. I feel like you aren't giving this person any answers. I feel like this person wants to talk to you. They need to come talk to you face to face. I feel like they want to know whether or not if you are completely over them. Is it like, I'm hearing, is it really over? We can't even be friends with benefits. <laughs> like, that's what I'm hearing. They willing to say anything just to be in your life. It's like their little whole world is falling apart. It's like they feel like it's, it's falling apart. They put a lot of work in. They say, look, I put in all this work. And it just seemed like, like I said, this person is sitting here watching you. They put in all this work and they feel like you're perfect. They feel like you, you're perfect. 
they feel like also at one point in time I feel like they felt like you you know you weren't the one for them but then I feel like they're reconsidering I feel like also they could have went out and tried something new with this karmic but it backfired I feel like this person is looking at themselves and the things that the part that they play. So I'm hearing somebody's taking accountability. And I, I'm hearing, I hope you know that I had options too that I didn't tell you about. But they think that it could be fixed if you just talk about it. They want to talk. They definitely want to talk. But they feel like it's a huge risk. They'll be taking some type of risk. They feel like they'll be taking a risk. It's a big risk to come and talk to you. For some reason, I feel like this person is kind of intimidated. Okay. So, what I want to do is I want to look into what they want to say. Um, Where's my deck that I'll use for that? There it is. What does this person want to say? What do they want to say? What does this person want to say? I'm starting to understand our connection now. I told you. They're starting to understand the part, the role that you play. They're starting to understand the connection better. Because dealing with that crime, it has made them realize like what they want and what they don't want. I remember every detail of that day. I, and they know that they cross a line with you. Okay, they know that they cross some type of boundary with you, and they remember every single detail about that day. But they wish that they could take their words back. They're wishing that they could take them words back. Whatever they said to you, they're regretting it now. Because looking back on it, they feel like we could have been way more than what we what we are now. They never thought that um, you two would be so much at a distance now. They never thought that. They're cause they're like, is this it? Is this the end of the road? Are we done? We can't even be friends. We can't even be friends with benefits. I got some benefits for you. We can't even be friends. Like, what's up with that? It is what it is. I told you I'm going to give you an opportunity. This person is going to try to come give you an offer. What else does this person want to say? What else does this person want to say? We are on hold, but I'm coming back for you. This person said they're coming back. They said we're not done. We are not done. We are not done. We just on hold right now. We ain't done. It ain't over. The person said, no, nah, we ain't over. We got unfinished business. Oh gosh, there's way too much. What else? I see signs of you everywhere. I have seen the future with you and I want you by my side. And I told you this person wanna know, have you moved on without me? You got this person feeling like you done moved on and they like, it's the end of the road. No, they can't let go. They can't let it go. They can't let it go. They're really starting to understand the connection now. Okay? It took them a long time. They got that Knight of Pentacles energy. It took them a long time for them to realize what's really, you know, what, what you stood for, what the connection stood for, and how powerful the connection is. But instead, they chose somebody who they like over who they love. 
So that's a lesson in itself. That's a lesson that they have to learn. Okay? So y'all let me know what's going on in that comment section below. I'm going to chat with y'all later. Ciao.